Hello. So, welcome. My name is Obina Akon. Welcome. I want to share uh, with you um, raising capital to start your business. Raising capital to start your business. It has always, it, it has almost become so needful uh, for for young men and women in Africa uh, to think of how they can start their own businesses. Uh, majority of us, if we would have to wait for um, employment from the government or from all these multinationals, uh, the percentage of us who have a place to work, um, if you look at the number of people that you're producing uh, from primary school to JSS to, you know, JHS to SHS to all the tertiaries. It will be very tough, which means we have got to um, just let people understand that, or let people know that they have to equip themselves with some kind of ability to start something on their own, to start a business on their own and to start from wherever they are. You know, and so when when we are writing all these nice documents about business, and uh, you know when you read some of these uh, nice business books all over, you will see how they start business. You saw the boys are there. You know, a lot of them they talk about they started from the garage and things like that. So uh, you know they will start, and then later they will bring somebody they call an investor will come and push some money in, help them with the structure and systems, you know. And then the next day you see that the business is expanding, especially those in the internet, you know, in a computer kind of businesses, software kind of businesses. Uh, the, next, the next day you see that they say that uh, somebody has raised a lot of money for them. Uh, they, will, they will go through that and the next moment you see them uh, going for an IPO. You know, they go to the, uh, the the stock market, raise a lot of money, and then it's a big company. That is a very nice example that you read in, in the books. Um, in our country, the reality is that if you start business and you go to the traditional banks, let's say you, you want to start a YG uh, point joint, and you write business plan and you go to commercial bank. <laughs> I don't know. Or you go to any of these banks, I don't know. You know, or oh, let's say you want to start a cassava farm. So you want to raise money from the bank or from angel investors. I don't know. The one that I know is that you finish school, you, you are right applications. Some of your mates will be called. Some will be, some will be, you know, not called. A lot of them will move to other countries. Those of us who stay here, we stay here probably because we don't have a lot of the connections. We don't have an uncle who is a politician or a big man or a father who can give you his card and say, go to this other area. Somebody else will help you. So, and that, the, the reality is that majority of us are like that. Majority of us are in that category where if you're looking for 10,000 to start that business, you probably, your mother will not have it or your father will not have it. Your friends don't have it. Maybe you, when you even completed school, you are still, you know, stay with your mother or with your father or with your parents or stay with your friends. Things like that, people like that. When you, read, when you want to raise capital to start your business, you you are not going to look at the other side though. you have to have a customized way of how it is done you know without you feeling uh, uh depressed or feeling frustrated or giving up on yourself and on your dream and sometimes even giving up on our country entirely it's not that here is harsh it's just that here is different so if it's different then you have to have the appropriate, uh, something that the, the, you know, appropriate technology. So what I would say is appropriate ap approach to how you have to go by things so that you can start yourself with that business. You know, so I did then is that you complete school, 
you write an application, they will call you for a job, you work, you know, for 10 years, you're able to save some money, you want to branch and start your business. That's an ID situation. How about you have completed school for five years and nobody has called you for anything? After national service, <laughs> and they, told, they ask you, the last day of the national service, they ask you, when are you going? And you didn't know where you were going, you know? And you call, some of your friends are all connect, connected somewhere, they're working. And you, you call anybody, you call everybody, and nobody is minding you. If you're in that situation, your equity or your capital is not money. Your capital should be the bigness of your dream, the largeness of the heart that you have. To say that I don't have much to start with, but I can see my future. You have to have that kind of mindset without frustrating, without regretting you going to that school to read that course, because a lot of the courses that they even give us in those universities, eh? When you complete, you don't know what to do with those courses. That's the fact. Even the technical courses, when you complete, you still don't have the technical uh, skill to produce anything with it. So my, most of us will come out of school and we can't produce anything. We can't produce anything with the school and we can't produce, we don't even have any technical skill. You know, so if you're coming to build, let's say, even a website, People will complete university, uh, computer science and they can build a website. And it's not because they are ignorant. The course was not designed for them to come out and build a website. They will just show them some few things. Let's say you, you want to operate a late machine. <laughs> you went there to the class, went to the lab how many times? You know, so what can you produce with what you have? If you're highly, if you have a degree, it's so likely that if you learn to produce anything, you learn it on your own. It will not come from the school, at least not the time that we're there. You know, so, but the basic thing, the skill that you can have that a lot of people can easily learn is the ability to pick a product that has been made by somebody already and go somewhere to sell it. And for me, that is one of the best ways, you know, to add to your tools that can help you to raise the so the so called capital that you need to start a business. The fact that you can pick something and sell, whether it's a service or whether it's a product, the fact that you can pick something like that to sell. And so um, the energy that you have, the friends that you have, the connections that you have, the, the optimism that you have, the belief, the believability that you have, the fact that you think that you're not disadvantaged, for me, that is the capital. That is the capital that you need. And the, and, and the other thing is you being able to go anywhere that you have to go to make sure that your dream of you building that business becomes a reality. That is a capital for majority of us. A lot of us will not have an angel investor <laughs> or a bank give you a loan with a nice business plan. <laughs> and even if they give you a loan, at what cost? At what cost would they give you that loan? And do you think that if you lose that loan, you can pay it back? It's a loan, it's not a grant. You know, so for me, start from where you are with the little that you have. And don't even waste your time so much trying to produce anything. A lot of people have produced something. A lot of people ship some things in town uh, to Ghana. Go to the market. Go to Makola or go to Adum or go to any any place that you live. You know, or go to the farm. Somebody has produced something from the farm. Somebody has produced something. Somebody has some small factory that they're producing. Somebody has a restaurant that they're producing something. Somebody is producing something. Can you start your business by just looking at how you can market those products? For me, if you have no skill, if you have no expertise, and you have no money and no connection, that is the best way to start the hustle. You know, and if you do it and do it with good heart and, and a lot of energy and you work hard, within a year, you will see something. You see so much progress. And maybe out of that, you can now start to write the so-called business plan. And you can now start to look at the big businesses that you want to do. But if you have no connections, nothing, and you write a business plan and you are waiting for somebody to come and give you money before you start that business, uh, it's likely that you're dreaming. Or you're going to call somebody somewhere to send you money to start that business. <laughs> Even if they are good people and they send you the money, they will take interest. You know, so it's not so much. And sometimes it's not, a, it's not even so much. For me, if you have not done business before, if you have not done any business before, you don't need a lot of money to start a business. 
Because if they give you that money, the probability that you lose that money is very high. The tendency that you lose that money. So if somebody is able to organize 100,000 cities for you or 20,000 cities for you and you have not done any business, I can tell you that within two years or a year, that money will be gone in no time. Because now you're going to learn how the tennis run. And that's why they did a study where they, 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 they picked some people 